love at first sight. With Lumify, see for yourself. We're almost out of time this weekend, but for all the late breaking Hollywood news, just go to etonline.com. We leave you with a preview of what's coming at you Monday on ET. Enjoy it and, of course, the rest of your weekend. Goodbye. Bye. Surf's up on ET's Bahamas Week. Our week of fun in the Caribbean sun. Yeah. Filled with star surprises. The exclusives float on. Bahamas Week starts Monday only on ET. KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at five, thieves target a popular stretch of Larchmont Boulevard. They've broken into at least three businesses. Well, welcome to KCAL News at five on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Leslie Maddie. And I'm Tom Wade. We're also streaming on KCALnews.com. A local business owner is fed up after his restaurants have been burglarized twice in the last four months. The most recent one happening just this morning on Larchmont Boulevard, KCAL's Jazz and Veal, live in Larchmont Village, where, Jazz, you learned other local businesses have also been burglarized recently. Yeah, that's correct. I'm here inside Boba the Great, and things weren't so great this morning after it was burglarized, of course. And this is one of three businesses right here on Larchmont Boulevard that have been targeted by burglars in the last week. In this case, the burglar came right through the back door. You can see they are still open for business, luckily, because there was no major damage. But as you said, the owner and other employees and businesses, very frustrated. Take a look at this security video of a burglary inside Boba the Great early Sunday morning in Larchmont Village. The owner, James Kim, says the suspect broke into a lockbox outside and used the keys to enter through the back door of his store that he had just opened months ago. Kim says the burglar looked around for cash, couldn't find any, and then took the tablets. Employees at two other clothing and shoe stores on the same street say they've also been targeted by burglars in the last week who smashed through their doors. Kim says he is frustrated. This is the second time one of his restaurants has been burglarized in four months. He says he wishes there were tougher punishments for these criminals. It's tough because we got out of this pandemic and even with construction, it took a lot of time to even open up this store. It's one of those things where in this neighborhood, there were and probably still are a bunch of robberies taking place. And, you know, it's one of those things I kind of just anticipate just because it's happened to us before. But not to mention, it's just it's happening way too much. In February, security video of Kim's modern Chinese restaurant in Sautel shows an even bigger break in. Around three in the morning, a group of burglars smash through the window and then use a hammer drill to break in through the different doors and steal cash. Kim says this burglary from February cost him about $10,000. All right, back here live, Kim told me that the burglary right here this morning will cost him about $2,000, not to mention the lost sales from those tablets that were stolen right off the counter here because they are used for delivery. So now they can't do that. Employees also tell me, Tom and Leslie, that they think this area is targeted because it closes down early and there is not a lot of late night foot traffic. Live here in Larchmont Village, Jasmine VLK okay, Cal News. Thanks so much, Jasmine. All right, a police shooting in downtown L.A. early this morning. Officers arrived at the Mieko Hotel on San Pedro and First Street around 3.30 a.m. After receiving calls about a man threatening staff with a knife, police say the man didn't respond to orders to drop the knife. He was shot and taken to a hospital. An investigation is ongoing, and the man is currently in stable condition. A fundraiser for a teenager who was shot outside a horse house party last weekend. Family and friends held the fundraiser for Marco Navarro at a park in Carson today. And dozens of people showed up to support the 16-year-old. Navarro was one of eight people shot that night. He is in critical condition. And the money raised today will go towards his medical expenses. Now all of the victims expected to recover. So far, police have not made any arrests. 
The search is on tonight for a suspect accused of stealing hundreds of dollars worth of beauty products in Laverne. Police say this man came into a local Rite Aid store and stole over $800 worth of beauty.